Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Luckamore Estate, and myself, Lucky Loremaster. Let's head out on another crazy adventure. Well, we don't really have any volunteers, I don't know why those people are there, but whatever. They, uh, they're fine. Let's see what we can take a look at. Should we go to the darkest dungeon? <laughs> no, we can't go there unless we're level 6, unless we want to be brutally horribly killed. All right, what do we have here in the cove? Which is vile? I think we actually already have that for uh, Max, so no, nope, we're not really interested in that. We could go for a long exploration of the wield. Could get a demon's cauldron, a very rare occultist item. Really helps with his skills. Wow, a huge amount of deeds and a crazy amount of gold. I'm tempted with that one. Could go with Medic's Greaves, which are good for the Arbalist, which gives her a big buff to her heal skills. Whoa! That would be fantastic for Dominique. We already gave her an item that helps with her heals. That would help even more. Hmm. I'm tempted with both of these in the wield. In the Warrens, what do we have? Protective Collar for the Houndmaster. Increases dodge at the expense of damage. Gold. Portraits. Collect grain sacks. We can do uh, room battles. Let's see, medium length portraits, sacrificial cauldron for the occultist, more damage, more stress. The ruins, we could go after that sonorous prophet we've been hearing about. We would have to take our level twos in order to do that. Hmm. Would it be enough? Problem is, we don't really have a good healer down at the... We don't have an A healer at all. I mean, Max can stop people from blight and bleed and restore a novel amount of hit points, but that's only enough to keep people stable, not really to fix their problems. Could get a dark tambourine for the Jester, too. And we already have a longevity eye patch, I believe, for uh, myself, so that's not necessary. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of split right now between the wield adventures and this killing the sonorous prophet. <sighs> you know what, I think killing the sonorous prophet is probably a progressive way forward. It gets crests and busts that we're looking for, it gets us gold, it gets us an awesome item for the jester, for Asmo. So why not? Why not? We're going to need people that can heal a little bit, so Max is an obvious choice. We're going to need people who can really tank it out hard, so that's probably going to be me. Diseased. Bertram might be great for just ripping things to utter shreds, and then it's a question of whether we bring Melly or Asmo. I'm not sure what this Sonorous Prophet would be weak to. She can deal Blight. Uh, Max can deal Blight too. Um, he's just raw damage and I'm raw damage. I'm basically pretty tanky, but he can transform and become tanky as well, as well as heal himself. So yeah, I think this is probably the team to do it. I seem to be diseased though. Uh, as for why that is, I have Vertigo, which means I can be pushed around easily. But, you know, it will get it treated eventually. Alright, uh, it's a medium length mission, so let's take a couple of shovels. Actually, let's take three shovels. Three. Let's take three of everything. Ooh, three. Three, three, three. Uh, I don't think we need three keys. Uh, well, hold on a second. Let's take three holy water. Actually, let's take four holy waters. We could drink these, and maybe it'll help us resist attacks from enemies. I don't know, it's an idea anyway. Torches, we're gonna need a lot of them. Let's go with this money and then all the food we can possibly take because it's a healing reservoir. So, let's do this. Alright, medium length mission. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions, and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. Hmm. Well, 
Isn't that kind of what you were doing there, Mr. Ancestor fellow? The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. Alright, so obviously he's going to be all the way down here. We have a couple of rooms we can check out. Let's check out these couple of rooms. If they turn out to be... Okay, dodging traps is nice. If they turn out to be full of horrible nightmare creature zombie madness, we know we should leave then. I mean, this is just an attempt. This might not work out. I mean, I hope it does, but... <sighs> Time will tell. What do we have here? I don't know why my guy is so stressed out. He doesn't have anything that causes stress. Maybe it's his vertigo? I don't know. Lock display cabinet. We did bring keys, so let's use them. Oh, nice. Bus, gold, deeds, onyx. Sweet. And we got a fight. Gnaws at the back of my mind, says Bertram. Alright, well, you can totally retaliate by hitting her in the face. Just like that. She totally gets your message now. My curse feeds my rage. Alright, and uh, we can give her a plague, which will probably kill her. Yeah, I think she's dead now. Yep, she'll die on her next turn activation. Alright, throne dagger, how about we put that right in the skeleton's face? All right, he's halfway down. Ren for the old gods. Can we take it? Uh, we resisted. Sweet. Graveyard slash. Ooh, not too bad at damage. All right, how about I stun you? I did not get either the stun or the push. That's sad. You'll die of your plague. No one is bleeding. Let's do a Noxious Blast on you. One damage there, and the Blight will kill you as well. Leaving us to just throw poison darts in your face. And then we can whip you too. And I can smack you in the face. Ooh, stress relief. Golden Cress. Really? I'm very surprised that we're already hitting problems with that. Um, for torch. Throw away torch. Bookshelf full of old leather-bound books. Well, let's take a read. Knowledge within forever changes the hero! Unholy Slayer is replacing Photomania. Okay, well, we're good against unholy foes. That's cool. And that's all she wrote. So, okay, these first uh, two rooms down the other which way are not so bad. We can definitely work with this. Hopefully the very long winding trail to where the sonorous prophet awaits us will not be will be equally relatively stress free. Yeah, yeah. Yep, eat up on your food. We're gonna have to be a bit careful on that. Try to keep our hit points at a decent level. I don't know why people's stress keeps ticking up. The light is bright. Nobody has any horrible diseases or anything. It's weird. I don't know, maybe Bert will actually get to check this one out. Yeah, he has some things that maybe he could get a buff from. Try it out. A map is found tucked in the tomes. Ooh. Alright. What are we what are we gonna see? Is this gonna scout out the whole dungeon? Let's see how far it goes. Yeah, it's kept going, keeps going. Wow, this really did scout out the whole dungeon. That is amazing. Good find, frickin' Bert. Uh, you get to search again. Oh, the passages are unsettling.
Okay, maybe we need to slow things down a little bit. You're getting kind of stressed out here with all this reading. But now we have an excellent idea as to everything that's waiting ahead for us, which is great. And we got another scout, even though that's a touch redundant at this point. We have a curio and a fight waiting for us, so we'll get to enjoy the curio with another key. Ta da Gold, crest, I mean bus, and jade. Okay, and we should pop up a little life source, getting ready for this next fight. Hi! Alright, we know Bone Courtiers are the main stress demeanor, so let's give him some... Well, let's see, will this kill him? 6 to 12, 15% chance to crit, let's try it. Oh, yes! Thank you, Melly. Thank you very much. Alright, 3 damage there on Bertram, and he's bleeding, luckily for only 3 hit points. Rend for the old gods on me. Oh, I'm bleeding too, for 3 hit points as well. Well, that's terribly rude of these bastards. Let's try to get rid of our bleeding on Bertram. Very nice. Bertram, how about some absolution? You need to deal with that stress. And uh, your self-heal, self-stress heal is... it's gonna be important. How about I hit one of you in the face? Really hard. Now that is a proper flanking. Alright, and uh, while he's down and out, why don't you throw a dagger at his face? Give them no quarter. Yep, he's not going to be able to do anything. Oh yeah, here comes another rend. Dodged. And uh, yeah, how about maybe cure my bleeding? Thank you, Max. You're such a sweetheart. Alright, let's do a manacles here. Four damage. And... Mm, no stun. Let's just go for a crush. Seven. Sweet damage. Mm, oh, wow. He does get to go first. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Resist it. That's what I'm gonna do. And we'll throw a dead. Oh, wait. You can't. Poison dart? That should kill him. No, he resisted. It won't. Alright, let's throw a play grenade. Oh, wait. I mean a noxious blast at him. That will kill him. So now we can just dick around. Um, to do, to do. Actually, maybe I can try to crush you for stress. Ah, he dodged. Absolution. Get that stress down for two guardians. I don't know. Maybe we can get a crit. Oh wait, we can't. Have to be with this one. Nope. One painting. Um, yeah, alright, let's get rid of the jade. 250 gold versus a painting. I think a painting is better at this point. Okay, what do we have here? A curio and a battle. And then an empty room. Alright. Very nice. And we'll pop a torch. Get ready for a battle coming up very shortly. Spiders! Flash Daggers. Oh! I would say so. Alright, we are getting marked and debuffed and all kinds of horrible. Noxious Blast? I think the Blight will kill it. Yeah, well, that one's dead. Maybe we can manacle this one. Can it stun it? Yep, it's stunned. That one dies. And that one gets crushed. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Hmm. The crests are going to be worth more than the gold. Question is, where are we going to put them? Ooh, dear. I feel I may have brought too many supplies here. You know what? Let's get rid of the anti venom. I think that was a bit short sighted on our part, and we'll take the crests and forget about the gold. I don't really think why we would need all that anti-venom, especially in the ruins. I mean, in the wield, yeah. And in the warrens, sure, but not here. Gold. Man, that is a lot of gold, too. I really hate to turn up my nose at that much gold. 
But all these other items are potentially worthwhile. Mm hmm. What are we gonna do? We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. Alright, we got traps. Melly, Melly the second, this is all your deal. There you go. Trap dealt with. Up a torch, are we going into a fight? Yes we are. Up another torch, let's go. Oh hi! My flashing dagger's right out front. She's the only stress dealer. Oh, Arbalist this nasty damage from the rear row though, so... Gotta be careful. Eight damage a piece. Whew. Sweet. Alright, manacles. Maybe we can kill off the acolyte? Nope, but we're close. And she's stunned. Quarrel on Millie. Mmm, five damage. Solid hit. Her turn goes. Play grenade for the rear row. Alright, she's dead. And he's blighted. Run for the old gods on me. Two damage. And we got the bleed going. One damage bleed, thankfully not too bad. Axe blade coming up on Bertram. Thankfully not too devastating. Alright, let's see if we can finish off this fella, the cultist brawler. Yes, we can. Okay, and let's see. We get some flashing daggers going on here, or maybe some thrown daggers at that guy in the back. Maybe we just stack up the blade. Well, why not? Up to seven damage around. That is pretty sweet. Maybe another play grenade? That has him up to eleven damage. Will that kill him? Oh, he's going to have one hit point left. That sucks. Oh well. We can't do it all. Let's stun this guy. Three damage, and... Nope, he resisted the stun. Almost dead. Oh well. Eleven damage crit on Melee. Oh, Melee the second. We're gonna have to spend some time getting her hit points back up. You miserable bastard. Alright, let's try to go for the stun on this one. And we got the stun at least. Wasting his turn. And he's gonna die no matter what. But let's start uh, treating her. Crit for two. I think that's gonna take a little while. Probably gonna have to use some of our food supplies. We can start throwing the blight. Uh, inflicting illnesses on the defender. How about we puke on ya? Blurg. Even more blight. And, um, hell, I'll just hit ya. That works good. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be we have any keys left? No. But we do have room for paintings, but not for bus. Bus are actually a pretty hot commodity right now, so I think we're gonna drop something in order to take these with us. We can pop another torch. You know what? Just chuck the torches, take the bus, and we're gonna keep going. We've got a curio and a trap ahead. We'll probably be resting somewhere up here soon. And, uh, yeah, let's eat. Oh, we definitely need to be feeding some extra food to Melly, considering she's so hurt. There we go. What is this thing? A decorative urn. A urn holds ashes of the departed. Um, okay, holy water? The consecrated water dissolves the ashes of valuable remains. Alright, we got some emeralds and we got some onyx. Fantastically valuable. That was 2,000 gold right there, I think. Okay, we disarmed the trap. That wasn't the person I intended to do it with, but it worked anyway. Room battle with a curio. Hello! We've got some nasty skeletons, and they're already throwing out the tempting goblets. We can't have that get started. Let's do... Throwing daggers. Seven six. Very nice. Tempting goblet. Mm, here comes the stress. Lots of stress. Play grenade. Make it hurt. Make it hurt. Will this kill him? Yep, this one's dead. This one. 
still going to be able to keep going. Uh, manacles. Well, actually, how about we do a beast on... Uh, yeah, let's just stun this one. Take turns. Take turns away from the enemy. That's more important. Uh, I can crush multiple foes here, but I can only attack one at a time. This one is dead. So it might as well be one of these. Oh, wow. That ought to cure some stress. Alright, he's going to get to go again, sadly. Spreading the stress on down to Melee the second. Yeesh. It did damage, too. What the hell's that about? Okay. Flash and daggers. That'll do. That'll do just nicely. Let's just use up the healing waters, or the holy waters, I should say. We can take the gold, leave that. Suit of armor stands amidst the ruins. How about you check it out, Millie? Armor protects the hero with a knightly aura. And she's got dodge and protection until the next camp. Cool. Fortunately, we probably are going to be camping before the boss, so. It's not that useful. I'll pop the torch. Oh, there is a trap coming up. So keep on look out. Um, you? Yes, you. Here's another fight. <sighs> I really hate these guys. They really need to disappear. in the worst possible way. Alright. Leg grenades. Alright. We need to just start absolutioning himself. We gotta get that stress down, or he'll never be able to transform when he gets to the boss fight. Oh! Whoa! That's a hell of a hit. Wow. Graveyard slash on melee. Whew. Thankfully dodged. Okay, how about I uh, smash you in the face? Just like that. Taking a slash at my woman. You don't get away with that, sir. Dead weight. And the vertigo is going to make me an easy push. Alright, uh, how about another thrown dagger? Just knocking them down, one dagger at a time. Okay, Noxious Blast on you! And absolution. Nah, swap it. Swap it so I can stun you with Rampart. Got the stun. And the blight's working its way, and your turn is wasted. Alright, let's start the slow and steady healing of melee, because we gotta do it somehow. We don't have that much food. We'll do poison darts, since this guy has a lot of protection. Alright, eight hit points. Maybe we can get more absolution going on. So Bertram does not go absolutely insane by the time he gets back to town. Let's just hit him. Six damage is solid. The blight should finish him off. Two food for Melly! Eat it, eat it, eat it! There we go. Heirloom chest. Contents are yours! Crests and gold! I don't even have room for more crests. What do we do? Well, let's look at the map. Do we know if there are any shovel barriers? No, there aren't. There are no reason to have shovels. So we'll just ditch the shovels, take the crests. On we go. Two. Nope, more hunger. Okay. We have eight food left. We're doing okay. Pack has already been looted. Nothing there. And the box. Stashed heirlooms. Painting and a jade, which we can't take. Oh, well.
Nothing. We've got Curio, a fight. Room battle with treasure. Curio, and another fight. Wow. We really are going to have to slaughter our way through this, aren't we? Alright, does anyone have something they could use getting rid of? I don't know. Bertram's been having good luck with books. Have a read. Forever changing the hero of the knowledge of a clutch hitter. 3% crit chance of hit points below 50%. That'll help. Ooh, it's getting dark. That means their stress attacks are going to be even worse, which means these guys need to die quickly. Oh, so close. So close to a single kill on that one. And here comes the... Here comes the stress. Three damage hit. Oh, that's surprisingly hard. Alright, uh, we can kill this one off. I think that's more important. Don't want him having a chance of going again. Alright, this guy hits hard, so let's stun him. Here's a tempting goblet for me! Oh, there goes the stress. Plague grenade for you guys back there? How about that? You guys enjoy some plague. Four, he's almost dead. Recovers from his stun. He needs a dagger in his face. Bump in the night for me. Hopefully he doesn't knock me back. Oh, it's just damage. Okay, that's not so bad. Thrown dagger. Um, yep, right here. Perfect. Okay, lift him. Thank you. And uh, how about some healing for me? I'm actually the one who's getting short of hit points now. Bump in the night, right on my noggin. Six damage. Ooh. How about I smash you right back? Oh, you survived with one hit point, you bastard. No idea how lucky you are. Truth is, not very lucky at all. As victories mount, so too will resistance. That's 750 gold worth of gems. Is there anything we can dump for this? We already have a full stack of onyxes. We might need bandages, we might need medicinal herbs for the fights coming up ahead. I hate to say it, but we're just going to have to dump them. Got a room battle with treasure here. The light is perilously low. I don't like doing this, but this is the last room before the boss, so we got to make it work. Spiders. Spiders. Spiders need to go away quickly. Um, can we get the kill? With throwing daggers, get an instant kill. Most likely. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the spitters first. Okay. Play grenade is not going to kill them with blight. They have more hit points than that. Blinding gas might be able to stun that one. Let's try it. Alright, that one loses its turn. Alright, we can uh, whip another one. Hopefully make it lose its turn. And it resisted. Of course it did. Dodge the bite, good. We need to prevent damage. Web. Yeah. Alright, he recovered from stun. We need to start killing things. Can we kill this one? Yes, we can. Alright, can we kill you? We sure can. And then there's just you right there. How about a little bit of healing? For old me up front. Not gonna do much, but every little bit counts. Another stun? Oh, your turn's wasted and I get to crush you. Good night. It's trapped! Luckily we resisted the blight. Alright, we got a rest, we got a curio, and then we got a fight, and then we have the real fight. Okay. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Lots of feasting. Alright, let's look about what we can do. We want to focus on getting everyone up to good health. Heal 50%, 33% heals received for four combats. That's amazing. Well, experimental vapors for you! 
Yeah, it does feel good. The cure removes target disease. Does anyone have horrible diseases, I wonder? Anyone? I have vertigo. That actually could be used to get rid of a disease. How much does it cost? Only one? Oh. Oh, it only works on herself. Uh, whoops. Oh well, not a big deal. Alright, we got our wound case situation dealt with. Let's see, her snuff box. Ooh, that can be used to get rid of his vertigo. Oh, there we go. I don't even have to pay for it in town. We could do stress, relief. We could do the quickening to make him extra fast. Uh, how many points do we have left? We could do quickening and then maybe... Uh, what's good? The gallows humor might be a good job of reducing everybody's stress. Let's try that. Alright! Gallows Humor did a great job. Good old-fashioned joke there, and I don't think anybody else could do anything with one. Alright, that's good. We got a couple of buffs, we got some disease removed, more disease resist, more heals. That's a pretty fantastic thing. All we have left is band-aids and medicinal herbs if we need them. Cool. All right, I think we can definitely do this. I think this next operation shall... We have a good chance of success. And that's something I like being able to say. Let's hope we don't get jumped in the night, because we have nothing to deal with that. The light. The <sighs> of safety. Thankfully. No getting jumped in the night. Ha <laughs> It says, the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. Luckily, we, not, we don't have a torch. And luckily, we're not completely retarded. We're just going to walk on by. Oh, hi there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I would say you could use a good whipping. Yeah, you don't need your turn. And in fact, you don't even really need to live. Thank you. Uh, as for you fellows up front, you could probably do with some horrible noxious poison. And here comes the rending. Three damage. Resisted. And dodged. Try again next time. How about I smash your face? Oh, so close. But the Blight will get you. Alright, Throne Dagger can't do it. Uh, poison Darts. And how about some more Noxious Blasting in your face? So much poison. You guys just can't deal with it, can you? And how about we whip you? Just add insult to injury. You'll probably die of the Blight. Yep, both will. Oh, you're so close. But your turn is wasted. And, uh, oh, well, I'll crush this one. Oh, outmaneuvered. And down you go, too. Anybody need food? How about you? You and me. And an onyx. Sounds good. All right, here we go. This is the big fight we've been waiting for, the Sunner's Prophet. Let's check it out. The last fight of the time. Ugh, calamitous prognostication. Disaster will strike here, it is certain. What is that red light? It's directly over top Melly. That doesn't look good. And he is apparently holding his eyeballs. That is really gross, and he has daggers and swords sticking out of him, and he's still half stuck in a stock. And he has dashed pews, each of which is progressively tougher and completely immune against any kind of damage over time, so it basically just has to be hacked through. He is super resistant against stun, very weak against blight, bleed, and debuff, but he can't be moved, so it's basically blight, bleed, and debuffs is how you take rid of this guy. Luckily we have just the cure. Have some blight. A devastating blow. Blight and further weakness to blight, too. Um, 
should... Well, we can't hit him. And we can't puke on him. So we might as well transform. Yeah, we can deal with the stress team. We can totally deal with it. Alright, he can start trying to... Let's see. He can't hit the back row, so he just has to dash forward and start smashing things to bits. Hopefully he'll be able to get close enough that he can actually start hitting it. Uh, how about a play grenade for you back there? Yeah, he's already taken seven blight damage. Fulminate? Ew. Well, luckily we all resisted. That. Ugh, that was gross. I'm gonna protect Melly, because whatever that is, it looks really bad. And it looks like it's coming. Rubble of Ruin. Whoa! 11 damage. Thankfully I was able to shield it from her. So apparently he projects... He makes predictions of where the horrible... Yeah, where the ruins will fall and collapse on them. And we have to uh, protect people. I can basically take the hit, but Max definitely should not. He's only got 20. Doesn't have that much health, but we need to keep the play grenades coming. We just gotta disease this guy to death. That's what has to happen. This is Blight Up now, 14. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, can we rake through the first one? What is it, 5 to 9 against 19? No, we gotta focus. Focus big hits on it. Man, that shit is so much in our way. Alright, I'm gonna get hit with it anyway, so unfortunately I can't be shielding Poor Max. I guess we'll just knock this stuff out of the way if we can. There we go. Get some a bit closer to us. And he's spitting up his puke on all of us. And we do have some blight going on. And there are the roof. Oof, nasty damage on Max. I could take it, but Max could not. And it looks like it's targeting me and Melly again. Yeah, this crap has to stop. It has to stop. How strong is the Blight? It's very weak, thankfully. But we can focus on making his insanely strong. What are we up to now? 17? That's pretty good. Alright, can we get a Rage on him? Rage on him? Yes, we can. Now we can start tearing him to pieces. Aw, isn't that sweet? Uh, Max is gonna be okay, so yeah, play grenades. 21 damage around, god that's pain. That is such pain. Alright, I get hit with a blight this time. And uh, the roof's about to fall on our heads. Should I... can I rampart? I can do any of my attacks really. What would be the best one? I think maybe if I do Retribution I can hit him. No, but I might be marked, which might mean more damage. Is he resistant to stun? He is really resistant. And I have a base of 100? No, that's not gonna work. Just go for big damage. 20 damage crit! <laughs> Take that sucker. Here it comes. Ooh. Down comes the house. And he's predicting it now on our nice werewolfy friend, Bert. No, I think we'll actually be just fine. As hurt as we are, Bert's the only one. Ooh, Melly's on death's door. That's not good. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Um, didn't we have something to treat that? Um, toxin trickery. Yeah, get rid of that blight. Thank you. Yeah, you heal her. Right now. Okay, no more death's door for you. Whew, okay. I maybe can hit you again. 11 damage. Okay, and the Blight kills him. Yeah, I can definitely get behind that. Alright, wow, we got a lot of valuable stuff on him. We can just get rid of the... We can just use the medicinal herbs. What do, does anyone have stuff they need removed? No? All right, we can just chuck them. We got a consecrated pew, the shard of wooden bench said to have held, been held by followers of the prophet. It's worth 1,250 gold. 
a longevity eye patch, which I believe I actually already have. Yeah, 15% health for the exchange of speed, so we don't need that other than money. Lock of patience for the abomination plus 15% virtue chance. Wow, he is. Hmm. It's a fantastic item, but he's such good stuff to begin with. What are we going to dump in exchange for that? I guess we'll get rid of an onyx. There's just one of them there. So we'll dump that. We'll take that. Adventure complete! Everyone got banged up except Bertram. Phew! Let's go home. Wow. That's going to be over 13,000 gold worth of stuff. Crazy amount of busts and crests. Dark Tambourine, which is going to be a neat item for uh, Asmo. 40 crests, 2 deeds, 3 paintings, and 10 busts. Wow, that was... That's a hell of a reward. Three, <laughs> every 3 people go up to level 3 veterancy. Melly is nearly there already. Melly gets uh, Necromania. She's fascinated with corpses. Ew, hard skin plus 10 perception. That's nice. And she gets the ague, a horrible disease. Fantastic. Bertram gets evasive, plus 5 dodge, that's nice. And I get a weak grip, negative 3% crit on melee skills, that's not good. Wow, that was uh, a pretty crazy fight, but luckily uh, bringing on the heavy blighters, we were able to just whittle him to that thing's health down. On since the beginning of the fight itself, so that is excellent. All right, three level ups. David got rid of the fits. Oh wow, two diseases cured. Alex got rid of the rabies and the hysterical blindness. Fantastic. And before we wrap up, let's see if we get lucky. Woo, we're getting lucky this time. We managed to get Highway Ben back. All right, in the form of this fellow. He shall be Ben the Third. My goodness, we're going through quite a few of them, aren't we? Let's get him back to his kick-ass colors. In fact, his kick-ass colors don't seem to be helping him. Let's try him slightly different kick-ass colors, like maybe this. Maybe that'll help him. All right, uh, he has a cove scrounger. He's good in the cove, but he has a guilty conscience, which means he bears the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Hmm. Okay. Well, welcome to the team nonetheless, Ben the Third. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a rogue. Unfortunately, no Hellions, and we don't have enough deeds to upgrade anything here in the stagecoach. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably a pretty good episode, and we are actually f above 20,000 gold, which is something we haven't been able to claim in a long damn time. Does anyone have any horrible diseases left that we could actually get rid of that might be a fantastic thing to be able to do that we haven't been able to pull off in a long time? Let's get rid of the Agu on Melly here. Alex is done with disease. Um, huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone else is carrying around any disturbing illnesses. No, no other diseases. So now it's just a case of treating quirks. Oh, but can we open up the last slot? Yes, we can! Ha <laughs> ha Now to open up the very last treatment ward, we are going to need 60 buffs. Whoa. And 30 crests. 30 crests is not crazy, but 60 buffs is nuts. But at least now, if we have diseases, we can just stash people away and get them treated pronto. Without having to wait too long. And then we can start, you know, increasing the general effectiveness of the library and the medical devices. So, that's good. That's damn good. Alright, let's organize people in terms of stress. How are we doing on stress? We're actually not doing too bad. But it probably can't hurt, maybe, to get a little bit of stress relief going on. Um, what do we have here? 
It looks like everything is upgraded up to that level already. I don't think we really need to spend more right now. Maybe we can get Bertram and me do some drinking. Anybody who's at like 20 or less, that's not really enough, I think, that requires something to be done. So, they can go off tippering and toppling and tippling and drinking all the very much way. In terms of negative quirks, does anyone have any negative quirks that... Oh yes, now it's time, David. It's time for that kleptomania to go. Okay, and uh, as for Polar, does he have any horrible ones? Yeah, he does. Compulsive's annoying. Bad Gambler's annoying. Calm is not very good, but it's only for the first round. But Compulsive is one of the worst. It really is absolutely horrible. But then if we put him in there, we don't really have any more tanky people for the next adventure. But still, that compulsive crap, it's, it's got to disappear. That stuff drives... Oh my god, look at that cost! Look at that cost! Oh! You know what, never mind. Be as compulsive as you like. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna deal with that right now. That kind of cost is... Ugh. Alright, well, we have a longevity eye patch. All, all kinds of neat stuff. This thing for asthma, which might be good. Where is he? He's doing fine. Uh, that's for good for a jester. That's good for a jester. He has jester-only items, but I'm pretty sure whatever this is is going to be a lot better. Death blow resist, less stress damage. If the torch is below 26, I have 10 virtue chance. I mean, it seems much better than it actually really is. I mean, he's not typically. We never want to try to keep him in the death blow place, and we're typically not going down to that low a much torchlight. I mean, I feel like we should just try to sell the thing. We would get a decent chunk of gold from it, too. People might think critically of that, but I think that's what I'm gonna do for right now. Just because it's damn good money. Alright, um, as for what else we could handle, since we have Ben with us, we could probably go to the guild and unlock his abilities. We could even probably upgrade the build a touch. We haven't even done that at all, I think. Yeah, we can reduce costs of skill training, and we can allow skill upgrades beyond what we're normally able to do. I would say we'll do this one first, Some may fall, and then this. But their knowledge lives on. And yeah, let's make it even cheaper. A strict regimen is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. <laughs> arithmetic, very clever. Alright, so that made things considerably cheaper, which is very nice. We can buy the other skills, so people can have options. We should probably do that on all our heroes right now. Just in case, you know, we want to be able to use those as... Wow, the upgrades themselves, once you actually get them, are around really cheap now. I am surprised at how cheap they are. Okay. What about Pan? Look at this one. Alright. Let's see, Stan, what do we have here? A whole bunch of stuff. Hounds, Harry, Target, Whistle, Cry, Havoc, Stress Heal. That's cool. Oh, what sort of people buy their experience level, just so... Alright, we already did Ben, we did Asmo, I think we did Alex. Yeah, we're, he's good. Melly is being treated, so unfortunately I can't drag her over here to get trained right now. Dominique, yeah, learn your last skill, why not? You know, it's nice to be able to have it there. Polar has everything. Han has everything. David is being treated. Stan's got it. Max is cool. I'm good. Bert's good. And Deanne's good. We should actually probably spend some money upgrading these things. If we upgrade everything, it's going to be a cost of 1400 now gold. Um, yeah, because, yeah, 1,400 gold a, a level right now. And we could probably stand to upgrade our skills somewhat, too. We've only got three people now, is it? Only three? Yeah, so the only people who can really adventure with Ben without it being too low level is uh, Melly, Alex, and Esmo. And uh, sure enough, one or two more missions, and they'll be up to... Uh, this veterancy uh, ranking three, and then they won't be able to do anything, so. 
Yeah, that is definitely adding up the roster and making it bigger, getting more deeds and making sure that can happen is going to be very valuable. Getting a Hellion and then filling out the rest of the roster with the friends is definitely something that's going to have to happen. So I'm going to be uh, perusing about, see who we find. As for now, though, we can mourn Nika and Ben the second. And currently now our total death leader is Ben, who is up to the third. Oh well, we've all died of noble deaths in our pursuits, so... Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This will end eventually, I want it.